Hey scrappy friends, it's Ashley and I've got a new scrapbook video today for you for our freebie Friday cut file at the cut shop and you can see what that looks like here. I've also got just a little refresher in Silhouette Studio um, if you're new to cut files just showing how to trace it. So I opened the cut file and I have the newest version of Silhouette Studio so it might look a little bit different. Um, I usually like to resize my cut file before I trace it um, so I went ahead and did that. Trace is under panels now, so you'll click the tool, um, the toolbox at the top for panels and click trace and then you'll select trace area and it's going to turn everything yellow and that's what you want it to do. And then you're just going to hit trace in that trace box there. And once you do that, I'm just going to show you real quick, if you want to move individual pieces, you can go back and do um, and click on the um, release compound path that's going to separate everything and you can see there that I moved um, just those little pieces and that makes everything individual especially if you're using a cut file that has multiple designs um, and if you trace everything at once then you can use that release compound path to separate all of those and then you just send it you can see here it's a little bit different than usual but pretty much the same thing um, just a little bit different look. So I'm going to get started. I'm using the Oasis collection from Crate Paper and I actually have a giveaway at the end of the video for some of the Oasis collection. I have a ton. I have several things that I have multiples of that I've never even used before. So I thought it would be fun to give away some of those products. Um, so make sure you check that out at the end. Um, you can just leave a comment below on the video to be entered to win and if you're a new subscriber just let me know that you're a new subscriber and that will enter you in to win the prize. So I'm going to back this cut file with some papers from the 6x6 paper pad and I'm just going along and usually if I'm using an outline cut file like this where the lines are really thin like they are on this title I like to keep the thicker pieces on my mat and trace those instead because sometimes if you're trying to use your pencil to trace inside those little thin outlines it can move around um, and just kind of get a little crazy so this way you're using the thicker piece and you're able to use your pencil lines a little bit better so that's what I chose to do for this one and I'm just going to do a little bit here for you to see how I'm doing that I just kept all those inside pieces on my mat to keep them kind of organized and in place so I would know which piece went in which position. So I'm just going to do one more here on the little ball and then I wanted to add some stitching. Um, I didn't really want to add any hand stitching to this layout but I wanted to bring in some machine stitching just to give some extra texture. So I'm just going to go around both of the O's in the title a few times and I kind of just made it messy. Um, I didn't want it to be neat stitching. So I'm just going to do that first one. And I went, about, I went around about three or four times on both of these um, just to get that stitching. And you want to be careful when you're stitching something like this if you're stitching it off of your background paper because those little pieces can get caught up against your sewing machine, um, your presser, presser foot. So just make sure you're kind of guiding that. And I kind of went a little slower on this just to kind of keep it from doing that. But obviously it's sped up for you here. And you can see how that looks there finished up. So now I'm going to start putting the layout together and I'm adding a good bit of, of adhesive to this just to get it to stick in place since I have those thick letters. So I just wanted to make sure everything was stuck down. And I love this background paper. Um, it's kind of like a journal entry kind of paper. It has some grid lines on it. So I thought that was really fun. And um, it was a kind of a neutral background without being a um, cardstock, like a solid color or neutral cardstock. And I wanted to go back and add in the little pieces on the O's and the P. I wasn't sure where all of my embellishment and photo placements and everything would be on this. Um, so I just went ahead and put all three of those back in just because I wanted them to be there to show in case I didn't cover that area. And I'm looking for my photo placement. So you can see I am covering up part of that um, in the O there, but that's okay because I like the layers um, and I like to kind of layer everything over um, and you still know what the title says so it's so big that you can kind of do those kind of things there and I'm going to be all over the place now because I'm just kind of going back and forth with the embellishments trying to figure out where I want to place things um, I didn't really have a set plan of how I wanted to put things in so I'm just kind of and I haven't used the Oasis collection in a while so I kind of have to look and see what I want to put in I knew I wanted to mix the different embellishments the cardstock the stickers 
um, the buttons, the little puffy stickers. So I just kind of go back and forth between all of those different things just to find what I want to use. So I'm just kind of putting most of the things, I'm going to be putting most of the things over the title and then I'll be putting a few things just outside the title. And just a little bit more about the giveaway, like I said, it's some of the Oasis collection. Um, so if you want to check that out at the end, it shows you what's included in the giveaway. All you have to do, like I said, is comment and the giveaway will start um, today that the video is posted and I will leave that open until Wednesday, July the 11th. And so I'll take comments up until then. And then I will announce the winner um, back on this video. So make sure you check back to see who is the winner and so I can get all of your information and get that mailed out to you. I just went through the ephemera pack. I think this is like one layout where I didn't use any ephemera, which is very odd <laughs> because I normally always use something from the ephemera pack, but I just couldn't fit anything in just because most of the things were tags or little square shapes. So I just put those off to the side and decided not to use any of the ephemera pieces. And I wanted to tuck in a couple of these little leaf shapes, the little palm leaves off of the sticker sheet. And I wanted to give those some dimension. So I just kind of tucked them behind the title and then I used a pop dot to pop that up just right there on the end. And so now I'm back looking again at the chipboard and I found the little kind of matching chipboard piece to the sticker below. So I wanted to add that to the top to give some balance to the layout. And then I also liked this little circle piece that kind of mirrors the chipboard swim piece. So I added that up on the top part of the title. Some more stickers. I'm really loving using stickers lately. I like to be able to put some flat and then add pop dots behind some just to give that different height and dimension. And now I'm getting the, t um, I'm not sorry, not the title, the date. And I wanted to use um, part of the little Oasis stamp set. This is just an alpha stamp set. So I wanted to use it to add the word summer right down here at the bottom. So I just put those down and then use my acrylic block to pick those up. And then I'm going to go back and do the rest of it. And I liked the way that looked right there. And actually, um, I have one of these in the giveaway. So there's one of these little stamp sets in the giveaway too. So that finishes up things on this layout. You can see the full layout and close up here on the end. Um, you can head over to the Cut Shop blog to download the Freebie Friday Cut file. So make sure you do that so you can pick this up. And then you'll see everything for the giveaway here. So I hope you enjoyed the video today and I will see you next time. Thanks so much for watching.